People are wonderful. They sometimes drift into your life and cheer you up. I was in an elevator in New York and two women started laughing, proper deep, here, here, here. I started laughing just because they were laughing. <laughs> I said, what are we giggling at? This woman looked at me and went, sugar, has anyone ever told you you look like Ellen? And so, oh my God. Here, here, you. You've never heard laughter like this, here, here. I looked at myself and said, fucking Ellen, look like Ellen. <laughs> that wasn't even the weirdest thing. One of them started squeezing her friend's breasts. <laughs> 50 years old, honking each other. I've never got more instantly English in my life. I genuinely said out loud, what's going on here? <laughs> it was like a monocle fell down and I toppled off a pony. <laughs> Listen to her answer, still squeezing her friend's breast. She just went, yes. Her birthday. What a world! <laughs> no man has got that excuse. Imagine that, mate. You're down the pub just taking your mates, but because it's his birthday, is why. <laughs> Darren, Darren, come over here and tickle Dave Spuds. For he's a jolly good fella. <laughs> I quite like to be a lady, you know. When I was a kid, me and my brother used to play a game called Lady Wrestling. We stopped when we were seven, cos Dad said, and I quote, you're going to jail. <laughs> do you know what we used to do? We used to tuck our willies between our legs <laughs> and have a fight. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> and the loser was the first person who was tickled enough that their willy fell out. <laughs> and they no longer resembled a woman. I can still see. My dad's confused face just, what's that bloody noise I'll do with it, darling? No, you fucking hell! <laughs> Morning! <laughs> get your dick out of your ass and get ready for school! <laughs> yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, <laughs> but I would. I'd like to be a lady, it's the kindness the women show. When you're drunk, you're lovely to each other. I was on a tube recently, so a load of girls are all a bit pissed. One of the girls got stuck in the tube door. None of her friends laughed, none of them. <laughs> they <were> like, oh, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> they rescued her, started stroking her hair. I was scared, girls, I was scared. <laughs> that was a man, he'd still be on the fucking underground. <laughs> yes, seriously, it's moving now. Yeah, say hello to Facebook, you fat fuck. <laughs> Tickle his balls! Tickle his balls! That's what happens, isn't it? If one of your friends passes out, you don't look after him. Your weirdest mate will go up to him, get his balls out, pop them on his head or in his mouth. Do you ring the police? No, you take picture after picture. No woman has that story. That's why you're better than us. You've never made that call. Gotta go, Steve. The usual's happening. Sarah's out cold and Linda's rubbing her fanny on her face. <laughs> I got a Snapchat this. Get a good one, Miriam. Get a good one. <laughs> Hashtag muffling. <laughs> exactly. Muffling. I've just invented a word for a thing that will never happen. <laughs>